Hello everyone and welcome back to more Balloons 2 Battles on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day as usual. We're just going to hop right into some, to a few games. I do notice there, that the things on the side are different. I don't remember those, but whatever. It's fine. Um, but we're going to go ahead and throw down our farm. And our the strategy I'm rolling with today is Dart Wizard Farm. Um, I've seen it a few times on YouTube, so I thought why not try it out for myself. And I do apologize for no upload yesterday, but I will make up for it with two uploads today. Um, yeah, that's basically that. I'm going to put in a dart monkey right there. We need to get trip triple darts as soon as we possibly can. So, actually, yeah, let's just throw down a spike down there. There we go. We're going to probably have to throw down two, actually. Um... That's not the best placement for them, but it's a, it's an okay placement, I would say. Um, we don't need two trip darts yet. We're just going to save up to get our farm to a plantation and then see where that takes us. Um, I've actually been pretty busy this week. Uh, I was actually down in Louisville, which is pretty cool. Because um, I originally live in Michigan and I went to Louisville, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but now I'm back, so I'm ready to upload a few videos. There we go, got our banana plantation. And uh, I already have a rush in mind for this guy. Um, actually, we should probably upgrade that to trip dart once we possibly can. Um, we're actually, we may even need, th no, we don't need three. But I might just want to get it ready just for when we do. Um, I should place it, like, lining up with the track so that it's actually way more effective. But it, it's close enough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw down another farm right there. So far, we're not doing too badly, but what I like is I like to have at least three banana plantations going into round 13 and have some dart monkeys piled together so that if I need to, I can just quickly sell my farms and get up a um, super monkey fan club. That's kind of usually what I try to do. Um, so I probably need to gather get these guys a little closer together, uh, as well as probably getting them able to see... I don't know what this guy's doing over there, but... It's weird. So I'm going to send him a few regen. I'm going to send him a bit of a regen rush. Um, probably at like, no, I can't do that anymore. Never mind. Um, round 13, I should be able to rush him. Okay, we're going to need to get up another trip dart and then another trip dart. There we go. We should be good to go. I'm going to make sure these guys have an enhanced eyesight so they can see camo. And then I want to try and get up at least one more plantation going into round 13. So if I need to, I can just quickly pop up a Super Monkey Fan Club and stop the rush that he decides to rush us with. Because a Super Monkey Fan Club will stop any rush that he has to send us. Um, I actually just realized except for a <laughs> lead rush. But we need a wizard for that. Um, ooh, we're, we're a bit behind from where I wanted to actually be at this point. But it, we, we're still fine. Um, I want to get the banana plantation up as soon as we possibly can. Um, so if that he does send us a rush, I'll just quickly send all the sell all these farms and get up a Super Monkey Fan Club. So I'm prepared for if he does decide to rush us with something. Um, which it doesn't seem like he is. So I think I'm going to rush him with a bit of something. It's not the biggest to rush, but it's something to kind of scare him into using his battle energy. Um, oh, he, it, wow, okay, he actually stopped it. Uh, it wasn't the best of rushes, but still, I thought it would be have done a little bit more damage than that. Um, let's actually get this fourth banana plantation up, and then we're probably going to throw a few more dart monkeys down um, for a better super monkey fan club if we need one. Actually, I might get lightning first. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think I can actually... I don't know if I can throw one down there or not. Let's see. No, I'm not going to be... Wait, am I? I could. Um, no, that's not going to work. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and throw down... We're going to get lightning. We're going to go ahead and throw down a few more dart monkeys here. Uh, so if he does decide to rush us, we can just pop a super monkey fan club. And that should be good to go. Let's get all these guys upgraded. We're not going to get any spike pulse or anything like that. Because uh, we don't really need them. Um, he's going with... He has a very interesting strategy. I don't know if it's the most effective thing in the world. Because I could just send him a Moab and it would probably chew through that. Um, but, I don't know. I, I might send him a Moab just to kind of test. Um, and put a little pressure on him, kind of drain him a bit. Um, he did get up a second wizard. But that shouldn't be that big of an issue. 
Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to send some regrow ceramics underneath it and see if that can do a bit of damage. Ooh, I think it I, it might actually. No, it's not. Wow, okay. Um, so I think around... Tw Ooh, we actually did take quite a bit of the lives. I think around 20, we're going to send them with a pretty beefy um, Moha brush. Um, we're, we're still invincible to any rush he decides to send us, so that is good. Um, yeah, we're good to anything he decides to send us. So we're going to get a, a beefy um, Moab brush on round 20. Um, like maybe like four Moabs or so. Just so we don't all out him, but... Ooh, that's actually not as much as I would have liked. But that should do a bit of damage. Wow, okay. He has a really solid defense. But we did force a battle energy, which is good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw down a few more dart monkeys here. Um, there we go. I don't, I'm probably not playing this the best that I possibly could, but we did force a battle energy, so that is something. Um, we should, I'm just going to save up for a, probably, uh, no, he can probably stop a Moab. Uh, probably a, um, a zombie balloon, or a Z oh my god, for the next rush. Um, because we are, like, we are invincible to any rushes he decides to send us, so we just need to save up for rush against him. And we should be good to go. I know as oh my god, we'll definitely be able to take him out. Um, but let's see if it will. We want to sell that and sell that. The only thing, he could counter me though. And I don't think it would be that difficult for him. Because um, I'm going to go ahead and send him one of those. Yeah, it wouldn't be really that difficult for him to send one. We're going to actually battle energy that. Um, I'm going to throw out another farm. Uh, so we're still making a decent amount of money. That probably wasn't the smartest rush on my part, but um, we still have a decent amount of money, so if he does decide to rush us, we can still stop it. He's battle energy that. He should probably be countering me by right now, but he probably knows that I can stop his counter if he does decide to counter me. Um, but I don't think he's going to decide to counter me, and I think we got this game in the bag if he doesn't. Um, we're actually going to throw out another banana plantation. So if he does decide to rush us, I can just sell these banana plantations and pop up a, a Super Monkey fan club, and we will be able to defend it really easily. So I don't know what he's trying to do here. He should probably counter rush me. That's his only chance at surviving. He's using his third battle energy. It's not going to do anything, though, because his defense is not nearly good enough to take this out, so I don't know what he's thinking. Um, I'm just going to say well done for a good game and not be <laughs> a mean person. Um, but we should be able to take this win. There we go, and I will see you guys back for the second game. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the second game of the episode. Or this might be two separate episodes, I'm not really sure. Um, but we're going to go ahead and kind of roll with the same thing that we did before. Um, wizard Dart Farm. Wizard Dart Farm. That, that's kind of a weird way of putting it. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw our farm way up there. And, uh, is he starting off with a heli? He's either starting off with a heli or a dartling gun. Most likely heli on this map, I would say. Um, which is kind of disappointing. But, we're going to go ahead and throw our dart monkey right there. That's probably not the best dart monkey spot in the world, which I know. He, I don't know why he plays his farm so late into the round. That's kind of weird. Um, but he is going farm, which is good, because we won't have to deal with balloons that he sends us. Which is always a good thing. Um, oh, he actually put down two. That's interesting. Okay. I'm surprised he could afford that, to be honest. But the boomerang thrower is pretty cheap, so. Um, I'll send him some pinks just to kind of probably force him or scare him a bit into upgrading something or putting something down. Um, it should definitely force something. Um, we just eat, we ate up all the spikes, which is good. And uh, now he's, he's definitely going to have to build something to um, improve his defense because he can't keep doing this or he's going to lose too many lives. He Even if he battle energies, it's not going to be enough. This would be really sad if we won like this. <laughs> we might actually win like this. Okay, this is... Okay, there he goes. He finally gets up the boomerang. Or the Ooh, wait, actually, he's still losing lives. Hold on. Okay, yeah, now he's defending it pretty well. Um... Yeah, now he's defending it. He actually almost lost there. That, was, that would be kind of crazy if he did. Um, that's going to help him defend in quite a while. Um, let's see if we can actually take him out here. 
I don't think we're going to be able to, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping to take him out <laughs> really early in the game, but <laughs> it's not how that worked. So, um, I want to see if we can take him out with these. Maybe maybe if they're quick enough, they'll be able to take... No, they're not going to be able to take him out. Um, okay. So, I guess we're just going to have to build another farm. Ooh, he forced another battle energy. Sweet. Okay, that was a terrible farm placement, but that's fine. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to send him some camos on round 12, and hopefully, oh, he put down a ninja. That's not going to work. Um, actually, camo leads he still can't see, so we could possibly take him out on level 12 with camo leads, which is always something to look forward to. Um, okay, so let's get up our third plantation. We actually need to place down way more dart monkeys. Because our defense is not looking too hot right now. Actually, we don't even have lead popping power yet either. Um, so we need to throw it on our wizards as soon as possible. Which we will do right there. There we go. Now we can pop anything. Um, round 12, he still doesn't have camo popping power. So we should easily be able to take him out on round 12. Oh, because of that bad placement, I can't place 4. That's kind of annoying. Um, okay. So, he still doesn't see it, so what we're going to do is we are going to balloon energy, um, camos, camo leads actually, um, balloon energy, regen camo leads, is what we're going to do. And this should be able to take him down. He might place down something else though. Ooh, he's going flash bomb, okay. Will that be able to help him though? That'll go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.